enzyme inhibition basic concepts in this lecture we will discuss the basic concept of enzyme inhibition my name is dr alam zeb i am a professor at the department of biochemistry university of malakan i did phd from the institute of biochemistry graz university of technology graz austria the contents of this presentation include introduction to enzyme inhibitors, uh, type of inhibitors, and types of reversible enzyme inhibition. Enzyme inhibitor. A molecule that binds to an enzyme and decreases its activity is called enzyme inhibitor. This molecule may be organic or inorganic molecule. It stops the enzymatic reaction. It changes the protein structure of an enzyme. The inhibitor is usually uh, binding uh, can stop a substrate from entering the enzyme active site. This, the, they modify key amino acid residues needed for enzymatic activity. Types of inhibitor. There are two main types of inhibitor. And the first one is known as irreversible, reversible inhibi uh, inhibition and ir irreversible inhibition. Reversible is a type of inhibitor that releases enzyme back, while irreversible is the case in which enzyme is not released back, so it is a kind of permanent uh, inhibition. Uh, that's why it is only one type. Uh, the irreversible inhibitors, it forms covalent or very tight permanent bonds with enzyme and render it inactive. While Reversible inhibitor, they form an enzyme substrate complex uh, that can be dissociated back to enzyme and free inhibitor. So that's the difference between the two types. Now we will discuss the types of reversible inhibitors. Uh, reversible Inhibitors attached to enzymes with non-covalent interactions uh, such as hydrogen bonds, hydrophobic interactions, and ionic bonds. There are four kinds of reversible enzyme inhibitions uh, based on the type of inhibitors. The first one is known as competitive inhibition. Uh, second one is known as uncompetitive inhibition. Third one is known as non-competitive inhibition. Fourth is called max inhibition. Now the first class of inhibition is known uh, as competitive inhibition which is a type of the reversible inhibition. A competitive inhibitor has some property such that it has a structure similar to substrate. Uh, it occupies active site. It competes with uh, substrate for active site. Has effect reversible by increasing 
substrate concentration up to certain limit. Enzyme and inhibitor, uh, which is actually uh, based upon the competitive uh, inhibitor, is thus called uh, competitive inhibition. So the competitive inhibitors, which is inhibiting an enzymatic reaction, is known as uh, competitive inhibition. In this case, you can see the substrate, uh, which is green in color, and enzyme is in yellow. So the, when the uh, this competitive inhibitor is competing for the substrate uh, amount, and it change, and there is uh, no further reaction in this case. Uh, the mechanism includes uh, the enzyme react with substrate to form ES uh, complex and then uh, enzyme and product is released while the inhibitors is directly attached to enzyme forming uh, enzyme substrate complex. So this enzyme substrate complex can be reversible. And the second type of uh, inhibition uh, reversible inhibition is known as uncompetitive inhibition. In this case, the inhibitors uh, cannot bind to the enzyme directly. Instead, it binds to the enzyme substrate complex. So it is not competing uh, with the substrate and it forms that uh, uh, enzyme substrate inhibitor complex. Enzyme substrate inhibitor complex is uh, reversible. Uh, it can release back enzyme substrate complex and inhibitor. It is also known as anti-competitive inhibition because mm -hmm. it is not competing with the uh, uh, substrate. Uh, uncompetitive inhibition typically occur in reactions uh, with two or more uh, substrates or uh, products. You can see uh, in this reaction enzyme substrate uh, re react with uh, enzyme react with substrate farming enzyme substrate complex which release enzyme and product um, while the inhibitor is attached to uh, the ES complex farming enzyme substrate inhibitor complex uh, uncompetitive mechanism or involved with certain type of uh, cancer, for uh, example, alkaline phosphatase is uncompetitively inhibited by leucine and phenylalanine, uh, which are amino acids. So they are competitively inhibiting, and they have specific roles in uh, the development and treatment of cancer. Uh, third class is non-competitive inhibition. Uh, in this case. Uh, a non-competitive inhibitor is, has usually uh, do not have structure uh, like that of the substrate, so it is not a competitive in nature. It binds to the enzyme but not to the active side, mm, so it it is attached to another side. And it changes it changes the shape of the enzyme and also that result into the changes in the active side. A substrate cannot fit this alter uh, active side then and further reaction is not possible. Uh, it is not reversed by adding substrate because substrate is not possible to possibly uh, add it. So no reaction usually uh, occurs. Uh, in this case, you can see the enzyme mm, and substrate complex. So the non-competitive inhibitor in the, uh, is attached to another side and it changed the uh, active side. 
so the substrate uh, is not exactly binding the active sites a non-competitive inhibitor examples include CYP2, C9 enzymes that are uh, nephidipine, uh, transphenylcypromine, phenyethyl isocyanate, and 6-hydroxy flavone. These are the uh, examples of the inhibitors. Now, how to differentiate between the non-competitive inhibition and competitive inhibition? In the first case, in the non-competitive inhibition, uh, a substrate uh, uh, is um, non-competitive inhibition change the shape of the enzyme so it cannot bind to the substrate. While in the case of competitive inhibition, uh, competitive inhibitor interfere with the active site of the enzyme so the substrate cannot bind so these are the main uh, difference between the two type of reaction the last uh, type of reaction is known as mix inhibition the in in this case the inhibitor can bind to the enzyme at the same time is the enzyme substrate uh, uh, enzyme substrate are attached it is a mixture of both competitive and uncompetitive inhibition the inhibitor binds to the allosteric side of the enzyme. Uh, it is also a, called a non-competitive uh, inhibition. So sometimes it is, we can say this is a special case of non-competitive inhibition. Uh, it is just like the, uh, that. The mechanism of the reaction is that enzyme is attached to the inhibitor uh, directly so it forms enzyme inhibitor complex and then substrate is attached so it forms enzyme inhibitor sub substrate complex which release enzyme inhibitor in product while uh, another possibility is that enzyme is attached to the in the normal reaction enzyme attached to the substrate and it forms a complex and then it uh, it is attached back to in to the inhibitor the example include isoflavone uh, genistein, which is present in many plant food. It inhibits the activity of cytosolic phosphoenone pyruvate uh, complex, which is present in the cytosol, um, CPEP, CK. Uh, so this uh, plant uh, isoflavonoid is important examples, uh, which uh, which is used uh, for medicinal purposes and, and the presence of this isoplavone resulted in the decrease in the level of blood sugar because uh, it inhibits the um, uh, glycolytic reaction.